Today, we are building helicopter houses to keep our friends Mikey and JJ and their families safe. Can we build them in time before the army of skeletons come to kill us? Chip, we don't have a huge amount of time before those pesky skeletons get here and try to kill Mikey and JJ and their families. You're right, Milo. And once the sun goes down, all of the skeletons will be here to kill us, meaning we'll only have 10 minutes to get this done. What are we going to do, Chip? We need to go build escape helicopters. You build over there with Mikey's family, and I'll take JJ's family and build one here. All right, we better save them, Chip. Yeah, we better. Here is the perfect spot, so I'm going to build my helicopter out of iron blocks. I'm going to be building my helicopter out of wood and dirt. Wood and dirt? Milo, that's a terrible idea. What if it doesn't even fly? It's totally gonna fly. Don't worry about it, buddy. I'm a pro builder. Oh my goodness, Milo, if your helicopter doesn't take off, that could be a disaster. I don't even want to think about what could happen. My helicopter is definitely gonna take off, and I'm definitely gonna save Mikey's family. Chip, mind your own business. I don't know. I think saving people's families is my business, Milo. No, it's not. You build your helicopter and we'll see if that one can even take off. Okay, I bet it will. I'm gonna work so hard and fully make mine out of iron and deep slate and iron bars so that it definitely will take off. Loser! Hey, there's nothing loser about surviving, Milo. Well, I'm gonna survive as well, just in a better way with my way cooler helicopter. Mikey's really liking it so far. Oh yeah, well JJ and his whole family likes mine so far. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it. Oh, Milo, we can't fight like this. We really have to work together if we want to survive the skeleton army. I guess that's true. All right, let's focus on the task at hand. Yeah, good idea. Now that I've built the legs to my helicopter that it's actually going to stand on, I really need to make sure I build the body of it really, really well. I'm also going to make it really big so we have a bunch of space to fit the whole family inside. Perfect. And it even has an extended tail at the back, just like a real helicopter helicopter wood. This helicopter is definitely going to work and I'm so excited for it. I'm building my front window out of green glass. This is Mikey's favorite color, so he's going to love it so much. I'm building my front window out of red glass because JJ and his whole family really like that color. Well, that's pretty cool, but you're basically copying my idea. Hey, no I'm not. I had it first. The red glass was in my inventory the whole time. <laughs> Tori the whole time. I don't care. Mine's still gonna look cooler than yours. No, mine's gonna look way cooler. This helicopter's already looking awesome. It's so gonna fly. Yours probably won't, Milo. That's why you need to not build it out of wood and dirt. Wood and dirt is very good materials. You can get it from anywhere and it's very cheap. Very cheap? Milo, that's because it's really bad. Iron is so expensive because it's really good and really high quality. But Chip, is also really heavy. Isn't your helicopter meant to fly? Oh, that's a good point. But no, Milo, it definitely will. Iron is what all machines are made out of, and it's even what airplanes are made out of, so it'll definitely fly if it's like an airplane. Well, if I was building an airplane, I would build it out of wood and dirt. Oh, Milo, I really don't want to be in an airplane if you've built it. Well, don't worry. You wouldn't be invited on my airplane, and you won't be invited on my helicopter. I don't think I'll need to. I think my own helicopter is going to work really, really well, so I should be totally fine. These skeletons are making me feel nervous, Chip. How long until they get here? Well, Milo, we have until the sun goes down, which is... Uh-oh, it's already getting closer. The sun is way further down in the sky than it was at the very start. What? Oh, no, now I'm freaking out a little bit. Look, it's definitely gone down a little. I know. It is way further along the 10 minutes than I thought it would be, so we better hurry, Milo. If those skeletons catch us off guard, there's no way either of our helicopters are going to fly. Hey, my helicopter looks a little bit like a tadpole so far. That's so funny. Milo, that's a really bad sign. Tadpoles cannot fly. They can swim pretty well, but we're not building submarines here. Yeah, but I haven't built the propellers yet, Dum Dum. Give me a break. Okay, neither have I. I'm going to build my helicopter propellers right now. 
First, I'm gonna build the back ones just like this, and I'm even gonna use Deep Slate. Whoa, this is looking pretty cool. Every helicopter propeller has one that extends really far back, and I'm also gonna have some really cool blades at the very end. My helicopter wing is gonna be built out of dirt and only dirt, because dirt is really good and tough at flying. Milo, dirt is a terrible idea. I really don't wanna see you fail this badly. If you fail, I'll probably have to come save Mikey and his whole family. No, Mikey only wants to be on my helicopter. Also, I know you secretly love skeletons and you're probably going to be friends with them when they get here. What? Milo, I'm not that much of a social butterfly. I think you're really underestimating me. No, I'm estimating you pretty closely. Well, the back of my helicopter is looking really good. I've already made one propeller and it's infused with redstone, so it'll definitely work. Well, I've done pretty much all of the outside of my helicopter. Now I'm building a door to get inside. You've already done the outside of your helicopter? What? Milo, when did you do that? Oh, just now, because I'm really fast and smart at building. I'm really liking the way this looks. Hey, Mikey, are you liking it so far? Chip, I think he says yes. What? I think JJ and his whole family love it. See, they can't stop talking about it. They don't really look like they're enjoying it. Yeah, they definitely are. JJ says it's his favorite helicopter ever. JJ seen other helicopters? Um, yeah, but nowhere near as good as this one. And he can see yours right now, Milo, so that's a pretty bad sign. Hey, JJ, shut your mouth. You want to fight, buddy? Hey, don't say anything to JJ, Milo. Do not hurt my friend or his family. Get back to your own helicopter. JJ's being rude now. It at all. Yeah, well, JJ doesn't like you very much either. Now that I've done the top of my helicopter, it's time to start working on the control panel. Let me place some stairs down here, and we can use a bunch of trap doors as a table, and now we just need to find some redstone things to put on so it looks like a real control panel. I think we need comparators, and maybe a piston could be really good, and let's also do a button as well. We'll have two levers just like this, a comparator, and a piston as well. Oh, this looks so awesome, like a real helicopter engine. I bet this will definitely work. I'm just shaving off the edges of my helicopter to make it more aerodynamic. Aerodynamic? Milo, I don't think dirt is very aerodynamic. You're about to eat your words, buddy, when this is the best helicopter that's ever flown. Um, Milo, your helicopter kind of looks like a beached whale. What? Hey, stop it with the rude words. This is the best helicopter and you're just jealous. Helicopter's legs are not looking good. I need to fix these pronto before it starts time for us to use the helicopter. Okay, perfect. Now I think I really just need to add a door on the inside. Let's use, oh, I know, an iron door. This iron door is way more powerful than a regular door, so no skeleton will be able to break it. We'll also have, I think, a lever inside. This way, if we need to jump down and save anyone, we'll be able to keep the door open. But we'll also add a button on the outside. I think one right here. Yeah, this way, if the lever's deactivated and we're stuck outside, we can use the button to press our way in. Boom. Oh, this is so cool. I'm loving the helicopter so far, and I really think JJ and his family are gonna love it too. Let's just open up the inside a little bit. There's so much more space here that we're not properly using, and I don't want anybody to be claustrophobic in here. Milo, I'm really worried. Can I just check on your helicopter to make sure that it will work? Sure, you can come over and get some inspiration. Um, Milo, what's this fence gate doing here? It doesn't look like it's stopping anything near the doorway. No, silly. That's the legs of my helicopter. Milo, the legs of your helicopter are meant to look like mine. Really big and able to support it. Your helicopter's literally laying its tummy on the ground. Well, I don't really understand why helicopters need legs if they're gonna be flying in the sky. Milo, it's so that they can take off and land safely, okay? Your helicopter's just gonna belly flop on the ground. I'm and Milo, your helicopter doesn't even have a control panel. How is it going to take off? Well, we haven't built the control panel yet. Thanks a lot. Now I'm stressed out. Okay, and what is this? Why is the back of your helicopter so short? This is where we're going to store all of the good supplies. Milo, there's only like two blocks for storage. Yeah, well, there's not a lot of supplies you need when you're up in the sky. What about fuel and water and food and armor and weapons and beds and things to place more storage in and building blocks and ladders? Well, I don't see how that's 
Jeff's gonna fit in your helicopter. How about you show me where it would go in your build? Okay, Mikey's family, I am really worried for you. All right, this is my helicopter. See how the legs are actually raised off of the ground? Why is that? Because my helicopter is able to land really safely without belly flopping onto the landing platform. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, and if you come up this ladder that I've definitely elegantly designed, you'll see that it's redstone activated, so we can shut the door for safety. Wow, that's pretty nice, and whoa, your control panel's actually looking pretty cool. Hey, you just broke my lever, Milo. You really need to be more respectful to my helicopter. It was an accident. This doesn't even make sense, because when I pull the lever, it breaks itself. Milo, I'm even more worried about Mikey's family, because... What are they going to do if they have a pilot who can't even fly a helicopter? Well, what about you? Nobody can fly this helicopter because your buttons don't function, buddy. Yeah, they do. See, you just have to press this one a couple times, and now if I hit any of these buttons, it would work. I also have a huge, really long storage area so I can keep anything I need in here. Milo, you really haven't thought this through at all. <laughs> Keep thinking and try and do some more good stuff. Yeah, good luck and really good luck to you, Mikey and his family. I hope you manage to survive this. JJ, Mrs. JJ and JJ Jr., I have something to tell you guys. I think we're gonna have to share our helicopter with Mikey and his family because there is no way Milo's helicopter is gonna take off. He's not listening to me though and he's still building it. We need to properly prepare and I think the only way to convince him is to prank him by breaking his helicopter. All right, now you guys help distract him so that he doesn't spot me. I'm going to tunnel underground really sneakily. All right, I think here's a good spot. We'll go right under the runway. All right, wish me luck. Bye, guys. Oh, I really hope Milo doesn't spot me. And how far along even is Milo's helicopter from here? I know I'm digging underground, but I'm probably going to have to take a peek up and see. Um, I think... Okay, we're nearly close. All right, let me put this stone back so Milo doesn't see my tunnel. All right, we'll keep breaking it. All right, now what kind of pranks can we do? I think they need to show Milo that his helicopter design is not working. All right, okay, we're right next to the helicopter. This is perfect, now let's tunnel up. Hmm, okay, first I think we need to go up really quietly and break the blades at the tops of Milo's helicopter. Let's break this one, I think. Oh, I hope Milo didn't hear that. And we'll break this one. One as well. Actually, I think it might even work if we break every single one of his helicopter blades. Okay, perfect. I've even broken the top. Now, I think we need to hook an iron bar onto the back of the helicopter so that it won't take off. This iron bar will attach it to the floor and, oh, I have a great idea. We can even use chains. These chains will mean that no matter how hard he pulls and if something breaks the iron bar, it still won't take off because there's multiple levels of protection. We'll also chain it here and we'll add a couple chains around this side. Okay, perfect. Milo's in the very back of his helicopter, so I think we can sneak around the front and add some chains there. Okay, I really hope Milo doesn't see us. All right, this is our only chance to show him. He's building the engine room, so it should be loud enough to distract him. We'll also add a chain at the front, a chain's here. Okay, now let's sneak back around to our base. There's no windows over this side, so I think we can run for it. Now, let's cover up the hole that we dug and fill in the tunnel. Let's do it all the way back so if Milo tries to dig something, he won't see that we've just been here. Okay guys, keep quiet. Pretend you didn't see anything that I just did. I'm gonna continue building to make sure our helicopter is ready for everybody. I need to add some redstone to my propellers so they go, but what the? Where are my propellers? Someone has stolen my propellers. Which one of you was it? Mikey, was it you? Oh my gosh, how am I meant to build a helicopter like this? Uh, I'm so angry! What? Milo thinks it was Mikey's family? This is good. The more they fight, the more likely Mikey's family is to come over to my helicopter. That's perfect. But if they do, I'm gonna need to build somewhere for them to sleep and live while we survive up in the air. I'm super mad! I can't believe this has happened! Chip, did you steal my propellers? Uh, no, Milo. I have no idea what you're talking about. And, oh, your propellers are gone? I didn't know that. What? Chip, I know you're lying to me. You have dirt on your hands because you stole them. <laughs> okay, Milo, it was me. But, hey, I'm only trying to show you that your helicopter is not going to work. And what's all this riffraff? 
There's chains everywhere. Chip, you're really rude for this. I can't believe you did that. Milo, if you try and fly that helicopter with Mikey and his family inside, it is not going to go well. It's going to crash. Or worse, it won't take off in the first place, and you'll get absolutely demolished by the skeletons. <laughs> be the hero, but today I'm gonna be the hero with my amazing helicopter! Oh, Milo. Oh, gosh. Alright, I'm gonna have to build an emergency escape hatch in my helicopter because everyone's gonna be using it. I think right here's a good spot. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna put the lever here because there's something else I wanna put on the sides. I'm gonna put three red beds here for JJ and his family and three green beds here for Mikey and his family. Oh, no. The door's right there. I guess I'll have to put one of the beds here. And wait, I can even put a red bed here. This saves a lot of space and means we can add more things to the rest of the helicopter. I bet your helicopter doesn't have a sleeping area, Milo. No, it has a sitting area. A sitting area? What is everybody gonna do at nighttime? Well, I don't know, Chip. I haven't had time to build anything else since you destroyed my propellers. Okay, that's a fair point. Sorry, Milo. I really do want everyone to survive, though. Instead of chests back here, I'm gonna have the chests on the side, just like this, and maybe even at the back. And I'm gonna have some chairs right here. Perfect. These chairs are going to be where we sit for takeoff and landing, and we're going to have a bunch on this wall. This way, there's enough for everybody. All right, this is awesome, but I'm still missing something. Oh, I think I know what I'm missing. Rather than having a chair here, I think we need to have a toilet. Yep, that's perfect. What if anybody needs to go? All right, I think they also need some privacy. Let's get a mangrove door because it's red, just like the chairs and just like JJ. That's a really nice amount of privacy, and we'll also add a mangrove trap door. Let's put it right here. This way, nobody can see inside, and it even has a peephole, just like a porta potty. I'm building a toilet as well on mine. It's looking so good. Really? A toilet as well? Milo, you only have one room in your helicopter. The toilet's gonna stink up the whole place. No, I've made a different room for it. Mind your own business. Okay, I think everyone surviving is my business, but whatever you think, Milo. I can even add bunk beds here. This way, me and Milo will have somewhere to stay as well. Yeah, that's looking perfect. Oh, my helicopter is totally going to be the best in the business. And I just finished building an emergency exit in case um we do run into any issues. Milo, I just saw you go down your emergency exit, and it doesn't look like it's actually leading anywhere. We will lead somewhere when that's up in the sky. Milo, that emergency exit, is it just going to drop everybody down to the ground? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, Milo, you're crazy, but it's not going to be very handy unless you can actually fly that thing. I can fly it. I've made a whole control panel and it's looking real nice. All right, well, I'm going to add some more storage. Oh, look at this. I'm using super high-tech shulker boxes. These are the storage methods of the future. Wow, there are so many more things we can put in them now, and we can even add some to the roof. We can store so many items in this helicopter. I don't think you can, Milo. I can. Really? Well then, I think I should come take a look. How much can you really have built? It looks the same from the outside, and I guess you have rebuilt the propeller, so good job on that one. Yeah, I have rebuilt the propeller. Come inside! Whoa, there's so much going on here. Okay, hey, you copied my control panel. No, I didn't. This was from my own brain. And look, the redstone on the side lights up, and my buttons and levers don't get destroyed unlike you. Huh. Okay, I guess if you want a helicopter to be piloted by a noob, it also has to be built by one. Hey, that's so rude! I'm not a noob, I'm a pro builder! And this is my toilet! Milo, this looks like a toilet from the medieval ages. It's not! It's a brand new one and it works really well! Um, Milo, if I close this trap door, it looks like my feet get cut off. Yuck, that's actually kind of gross! Get out of there, Chip! Stop standing in the toilet! And, Milo, why do you only have two beds? Aren't you building this for Mikey's whole family? Yeah, some people can sleep on the benches as well! What? Milo, I thought the benches were for takeoff and landing! They are! I'm doing lots of stuff in this place! Don't worry about it! We've even got some little storage boxes! Okay, and I guess that's good, but my storage is still way cooler! Alright, why don't you show me? It, buddy. Yeah, let's just take your emergency exit. That's not gonna work for now, silly. Look, 
I don't fit, but when I'm flying up in the sky, it'll be great. Okay, I guess we'll just take your normal exit and head over to my helicopter. I'm ready to be disappointed. No, it's not disappointing. Look, if you come up here, you can see that I have an emergency exit of my own, but it works at all levels. Oh, hey, this actually looks pretty good, Chip. Thanks, Milo. And I also have some chairs on the side here so everybody can take off and land in safety. Bye. Green beds here. Milo, I'm not just building this for me and JJ's family. I'm also building it for Mikey's family as well because I really don't think your helicopter is going to fly. Stop building for Mikey's family. He doesn't want your help. I'm going to save him from the skeletons, which are actually going to be here pretty soon. Wait, you're right, Milo. The sun is nearly down. We only have five minutes to get these helicopters finished before the skeletons get here. We've spent so long fighting that we forgot. Oh my gosh, I'm really freaking out, Chip. Me too. Quick, Milo, do the finishing touches on your helicopter while I do them on mine. Come on, Mikey, we gotta do this. Now that you guys are safe and sound inside my helicopter, I think I need to build a couple more defenses. Right now, we do have a safe place to fly away, but not much to actually attack the skeletons with. I'm gonna fix that, though, by making dispensers filled with TNT. The dispenser will go right here, and we'll fill it to the brim with TNT. Perfect. Now we need to break this glass so we have a way inside, and we can place the lever right here. And I need to test this out, but I can't just let it blow up my helicopter, so I'm gonna put water all on the bottom here. This way, when the TNT lands, it'll flow into the water and won't do any damage. All right, let's go in here and quickly activate this thing. Whoa, the TNT really does come down, and is it gonna blow? Yes, it definitely is. All right, that's perfect. Actually, I need to get rid of this water now. If the water is here while we try and take off, it could clog our engines or rust the legs of our helicopter. That would be terrible, and I'm not about to let that happen. Not when everyone's relying on me, even Mikey's family. Speaking of Mikey's family, oh no, I think they're inside Milo's helicopter. We better build another set of TNT dispensers on this side, just so that we're defended from all angles. We'll have to be if we want to make sure everyone's safe inside this thing. I've been building a really crazy slime room. Look how bouncy this is. One thing about Mikey is he's a really silly guy, so he's gonna love coming down here and bouncing around. Milo, did you just say coming down here? Yeah, my bouncy castle is underground. Underground? Milo, that's a terrible idea. If it's underground, how is anybody meant to fly? I'm not telling. I'm using my magic skills that you don't get to know about. Oh, okay, Milo, this is terrible. I really, really think Mikey's family should come in my helicopter for this. No way! They love it here. They just even told me. They're really enjoying all the benches and the emergency exit. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Don't tell Milo, but I'm actually going to build an armor dispenser here so that me and JJ's family can use it to equip armor. But I'm going to add enough armor so that Mikey's whole family can use it as well. Let's start adding in the swords and pickaxes first. The swords can go in here. I think the pickaxes definitely belong in here. And the axes can go right at the bottom here. Now we'll actually start putting in their helmets and all the other pieces of armor on the side dispensers here. Finally, we just need to do the leggings at the back and uh oh, I don't know if I'll be able to fit in this, but whoa, at least we definitely know the armor equipping works. I am just missing netherite boots. Not anymore though, so we need to put the boots inside this bottom one. All right, now make sure you guys don't let baby JJ accidentally walk in there. That would be crazy and it would already take away the armor. We don't have that much, so we need to be smart about what we have left. I'm putting paintings in my amazing bouncy room. This is gonna be such a nice decoration. These skeletons are gonna be really jealous that they can't come inside my helicopter. Milo, paintings? Really? Are you even trying? I'm trying my best. You shut it, buddy. I'm now gonna put some nice lights inside my little helicopter. Mikey and his wife was telling me that it's a little bit dimly lit in here, and I don't want anyone to feel scared. All right, I need to grab a bunch of materials to add as emergencies in the back of the plane. We're gonna put them in the storage. I think we need a bunch of golden food so that nobody goes hungry and so that we can heal ourselves. We also need slime blocks and honey blocks in case we need to make some bee friends or if we need to jump down quickly. I also need to grab some diamonds and some diamond blocks. This way we can use them as currency if we ever enter a new civilization. I also need to grab some flint and steel and some fire 
fireworks. Let's get multiple stacks of them. I think three is definitely enough. We'll also need some emergency elytra. And oh, I think some totems of undying could be really perfect. And hey, I'm already holding a water bucket, so I may as well add that in as well. I think this is a really good amount of emergency supplies. I wonder what time it is. Oh no, that's horrible. And look, the skeletons are already coming out of the cave. I need to build one final emergency thing. It's a giant helipad underneath the helicopter so we know exactly where to land in the event that we need to come back after we defeat the skeletons. Okay, the helipad is now done. Okay, time to head inside my helicopter before the skeletons come. Yep, oh my gosh, look over there, the skeletons. I know, Milo, look, they're already making their way to us. We've got to get in our helicopters and fly away before they reach us. All right, I'm so worried, but I gotta save Mikey's I have to save JJ's family, and I will save you and Mikey's family if it needs to happen. Are you guys feeling okay? We gotta take this thing off. Time to click some buttons. All right, I need to shut this door. All right, JJ's family, everyone take your emergency seats. It's time to fly. I have to sit in this pilot seat and start clicking these buttons. I really am excited to watch this thing fly. Oh, I can hear the blades turning. This is so exciting. Whoa, I think it worked. We're up in the air. My helicopter actually flew. JJ, JJ's wife, JJ Jr., are you all safe? Oh, they're even on their safety takeoff chairs. Good job, guys. We really did it. Hey, Milo, I... Uh-oh, Milo. Aw, oh, Chip! What is it? I'm having some issues. My helicopter isn't taking off. Oh, Milo, I knew this would happen. Oh, I have to think about why. Hang on, Milo, I'm coming down there. Just don't let the skeletons get you. They're getting closer. I can feel it. I'll need to get my elytra and some fireworks to go outside and see what the problem is. Let's put on the elytra and start using these fireworks. All right, okay, JJ, JJ's wife, JJ's kid, I'm gonna be back. Just don't wait for me if anything goes wrong. Save yourselves. All right, I'm gonna land on top of my own helicopter and see what's happening. Oh, Milo, your helicopter hasn't even taken off yet. I know, it's broken and I don't know what's wrong with it. All right, I'm gonna have to come down and inspect it, but look, the skeletons, they're spreading out and getting closer. Oh, I can just feel the arrows shooting me. They're gonna be here soon. All right, I'll have to fly down and take a look. Whoa, I just have to make sure I don't crash. All right, I've landed on your helicopter blades. Let's have a look around and see what's causing your helicopter not to fly. Hi, Chip. Oh, no, this is so bad. I think they're looking at me funny. They're gonna march over here. I just know it. Milo, we have to take a look, but look, there are so many skeletons here. They've made it. Chip. Uh, Milo, I think I see what it is. There's a chain stopping your helicopter from taking off. I placed it there earlier in my prank, and you must have forgotten to remove it. What? Oh, Chip, that's so bad. Ah, uh, this is all your fault, and I don't know what to do. I can't even get out there to remove it. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm gonna need to go back up to my helicopter, land inside, and get a pickaxe to come save you. Please, Chip, we don't have a lot of time. All right, I'm gonna have to land so strategically so I don't die and whoa I made it inside but with only one heart come on I have to look through my chests I'm gonna need some enchanted golden apples and some golden carrots. I do not want to die here I've left some for you guys though, so you don't have to worry. I would never take all of our supplies I already have armor on but uh oh I need some tools now I have a sword an axe and a pickaxe All right, I should be good to come down and save Milo again. Oh look at all the skeletons and there are so many arrows everywhere this is terrible. Luckily, they're targeting him, so I have time to come and break this chain. All right, Milo, I've now broken the chain. Oh my gosh! Wait, I'm pressing my button and ship my helicopter still isn't flying! Milo, I think I know what we have to do. What are we gonna do? You and Mikey's family are gonna have to come to my helicopter. I think I have a really risky maneuver, but it should work. Just give me a second, okay, Milo? Okay, Chip. I'm trying to hide, but I'm worried about you out here. Oh, don't worry, Milo. Just save yourself and keep Mikey and his family safe. We cannot have everyone dying just to save me. Hurry up! We need to be rescued, Chip. All right, I'm taking off and trying to make it back inside my helicopter. 
All right, I hope I can make it again. I do not want to lose a heart like last time. And wow, I managed to land that absolutely perfectly. Ew, I'm throwing away the bones and arrows that I got. That is disgusting. I don't want any more help from the skeletons. All right, JJ, JJ's wife and JJ's kid, hold on. There's something I know we need to do. There is a maneuver I know we can take, but it's going to be risky. We have to land this helicopter on top of Mikey's helicopter so that we can save his whole family. We just need to be so careful. If if we land it wrong, it could crash into the other helicopter and they'll both explode. All right, hold on everybody and look out Milo, we're coming for you. All right, I think I did it. Is everybody okay? Yes? Oh, thank goodness you all wore seatbelts. All right, Milo, I'm landed. I'm ready to come and save you. Please, Chippo, this is terrible. Oh, there are so many skeletons. I can't use the regular door. I'm gonna have to use the emergency escape hatch to come save you, Milo. Oh, I'm also going to need to grab some totems of undying to keep you safe and a water bucket. It's really important, but I think we can do it. Let's drop down and start mining this block. We want to get in without letting any of the skeletons shoot at us. I need to place a water bucket here and all right, Milo, I'm coming down. I can't believe you made it. Thank goodness. I was so scared. Milo, Mikey's family is getting pushed through the escape hatch. Quick, we need to fix it. I need to block it up, but oh no, what's going on? This is terrible. Oh, goodness. Oh, what can we do? What can we do? Oh, Chip, I don't know. We gotta get them up here. I have an idea, Milo. You guys need to stay here. Make sure you hold that totem of undying and Mikey and his family can share that one. All right, I'll be right back. I need to go grab some of the TNT from my dispensers. Please, Chip, be quick. The skeletons are shooting down my door. Oh, what? Oh, that's terrible. Okay, I think I can help. I have TNT dispensers on the side of my helicopter. If I activate this one, it should launch one down. You just need to make sure you're at the back of the helicopter with Mikey and his family. Okay, we're here. All right, perfect. I'm also gonna send you some slime blocks so that you can all be super secure. Make sure you make a defense out of them because they're really bouncy, so they should absorb some of the shock. All right, I'm gonna make a defense right in front of us. All right, great. Let me know when the defense is done so I can send down my rain of TNT. Okay. All right, I'm going to launch the TNT in three, two, one. Look, it's coming down. You guys don't know what you're in for. Whoa, what is going on, Chip? It just blew a hole in this side. I'm going to blow a hole in the other side as well. I'm going to send a bunch of TNT down. Make sure you stay safe. Oh, no. It pretty much blew us up. Oh, gosh, the defense is barely working. All right, now I've made a way for you all to come up. See, there's a water channel that you can all swim. We've distracted the skeletons, so now's the perfect time. All right, Chip, I'm gonna come out and... Oh, no, I just got shot. The totem of our dying saved me. Wow, quick. All right, we need to hurry up. Everybody get inside. I'm gonna shut the door so the skeletons can't shoot from the edges. You need to quickly grab some armor and here's a golden apple so you can heal. Mikey's family will be here real soon. Is everybody here safe and sound? We've got Mikey, Mikey's wife, Perfect. All right. And JJ's whole family is here as well. I need to shut off this lever so the trapdoor emergency exit is no longer open. All right, everybody, you're probably going to need to sit down for this. I think we're about to take off again. What? It's not working. Oh, no. There must be too many skeletons around. We have to go out and defeat every single last one so they don't clog up the engine. All right, let's go. I feel well equipped now. We're going to save the day. Yeah, me too. Come here, skeletons. You're no match for us. Hey, skelly boys. You guys are dumb. Yeah, look, there are more over here, and I think they might even be running away. These guys are so weak and scared. Yeah, get away from Mikey and JJ. They don't want you here. Yeah, oh, wow. I'm getting shot from so many from different angles. Oh, Milo, I think more and more skeletons are just going to keep coming unless we can plug up the tunnel that they're all coming out of. Quickly, do you have materials to plug it up? Yes, I do, but I don't think I can do it alone. I think I need your help. All right, I've just mowed down some skeletons. Let's go! Yeah, let's go. I think we can make it. We just have to use the airport as cover. Quick, there's some guys in here as well that we need to get. Yeah, we definitely do. Oh, goodness. Ow, I'm taking serious damage here. Let's keep going. I'm going to use my firework rockets to launch right up next to the tunnel. Do it, Chip. Whoa, there are so many skeletons in here. It's like a finale, but I think I've blocked it off. Perfect. I need to get this last skeleton here before I can fully plug up the tunnel. Look, they're all fighting with each other. They're so angry we 
we just trapped them! Yeah, I guess when there's no innocent people to pick on, these evil mobs start fighting amongst themselves. We've plugged up the tunnel, Milo. All right, now I'm gonna launch back up and place the water so you can come up as well. All right, are you ready, Milo? I'll place it right here. I'm ready! All right, swimming up now! Quickly, hurry, we don't have much time left. Let's escape, quick! All right, I've now shut the door. Take a seat or... A bed, I guess. Just make sure you're safe. All right, everybody, hold on. Here's golden apples in case you need to heal. I'm about to set this helicopter to flight mode. We made it. Look, I can even see the distant jungles and distant savannas. Yes, we escaped. And we saved Maki and JJ's families. Wow, we really did it. Amazing job, everybody. Golden apples for all. Yeah.